Hi friends and welcome back to my channel. My name's Mandy and this week we are making a Christmas sheet pan dinner. This was super delicious and I'm super excited to share this with you. So stick around. So this recipe I found while I was scrolling on Pinterest. So I will definitely leave that linked down below in the description box. But the first thing that we're gonna do is work on our raspberry glaze that's going to go on top of this ham now i went to aldi and found this um raspberry fruit spread so i'm putting one cup of that into a small saucepan you want to get this going first because you want it to stand and thicken while you're preparing the other um, items for your sheet pan meal so i've got that on very low heat i'm gonna add in about half a cup of some white vinegar i kind of eyeballed it and just gave it a stir until i saw it came to the consistency that i was hoping for so i believe it was about half a cup and then I'm gonna add a few other spices to this. Now the recipe called for using a um, chili and adobo sauce um, chopped up and put into this mixture, but my kids don't like things super spicy, so I was a little bit afraid to do that. I bet it would be super delicious if you wanted to um, do that. I'm adding in some garlic powder and I'm gonna add in some crushed red pepper flakes. That's just to give it a little bit of heat, but I can kind of control how many pepper flakes that I put in there and um, so that it won't be too spicy for my kids. And I'm also gonna add in some salt and some pepper. And so I'm just gonna give this a stir, get it heated to a slow roll, and then I'm going to cut it all the way down to low and just let that hang out while I'm preparing the other items. So here I'm going to be making a creamy potato au gratin. Um, so I'm just very thinly slicing these yellow potatoes. I'm going to put those into my bowl and I'm just going to be covering these with some um, salt, pepper, um, but I'm going to be making this cream sauce. So I've got about a cup and a half here that I'm going to put in of heavy whipping cream. This is going to help make my sauce here for these potatoes. You want about, if you have large potatoes, about five to six. I had small potatoes, so I just went ahead and um, did up that whole little bag that I had left. I'm adding some salt and pepper now to the cream. This is just heavy whipping cream. And then I am going to heat this up on the stove with the potatoes. Now, I don't want the potatoes to cook through. I'm just heating the cream up and making sure that the potatoes are completely saturated in that cream sauce. I'm also adding in some dried thyme here just to add another complexity of flavor. I did add um, a little bit of some ground red cayenne pepper just to add a little bit of heat to these potatoes and then i poured my potatoes into that cream mixture gave it a stir and these are going to come to a small roll on the stove just to get that sauce going and coating these potatoes and then we'll be adding this to our sheet pan and then we're going to be adding some gruyere cheese on top Here I have peeled and halved some whole carrots that are going to go into my sheet pan. I'm covering those with olive oil, some kosher salt, and coarse black pepper. And then I'm just going to give it a toss. Next, I'm going to take this Gruyere cheese. I just bought this at Aldi's. I'm going to shred this up to add to my potatoes. The recipe did say that you could use Parmesan as well. So if that would be an option that you would like to use, by all means, use Parmesan. So here I have my potatoes off the stove. Again, these potatoes are not cooked through, just heated the cream sauce. I'm adding in that shredded Gouyer. Gouyer, I don't know if I'm saying it right or not, but, and I'm gonna give that a toss, and then we're gonna take our potatoes and our carrots and get them on our first sheet pan. So I wanted to create a barrier, and that's what the, the blog said to do for this recipe, so that I can get everything on the sheet pan, but the flavors are not mixing. So I sort of kind of created this aluminum foil barrier boat thing 
And so I put that on half of my sheet pan and this is so that the cream mixture doesn't leak out into the carrots. So here you can see I'm working on my sheet pan to get two different sections ready. I have my carrots placed there on one side and I am gonna spray the side that I'm going to put the potatoes in because there is cheese and cream and I didn't want it to stick. So my first sheet pan is ready to go. This is gonna go in the oven 10 minutes earlier than the rest of the dish. This is going to go in the bottom third of my oven and I'm gonna cook it for 10 to 12 minutes at 400 degrees. And at that time, I'll have my second sheet pan ready to add the rest of the meal. So now for my second sheet pan. I am going to start with the asparagus. I'm doing this the exact same way I did the carrots. I rinsed and trimmed my asparagus spears. I'm covering them with olive oil, kosher salt, and coarse black pepper, giving that a toss, and adding that to the full line side of my second sheet pan. Now, last but not least, it's time to add that ham on. Now, this ham is fully cooked. You don't have to do the whole spiral ham, all of that. That's gonna take a lot longer to cook and the goal is for this to be done within an hour. So you could buy ham steaks or I just bought this um, pre-sliced smoked ham that's already been sliced. And so I'm putting it out here on my sheet pan and I'm kind of spreading out the layers or the slices here of the ham so that I can drizzle that raspberry um, glaze on top of the ham. And let me tell you, this ham turned out so delicious. I will definitely be using this raspberry glaze again. Um, I'm not sure how much hotter it would have been with the chili and adobo, um, I would imagine quite a bit more than what this was, but just using the crushed red pepper flakes added just enough heat for my family. So I just spread out this glaze all over the ham and then we are ready to put this in the oven. So I put that ham in the top third of the oven. The potatoes and carrots have already been cooking for 12 minutes, and now the asparagus and ham is going to cook an additional 10 to 12 minutes. So here I have taken some lemon zest and the juice of one lemon. I'm adding in about three tablespoons of honey. I'm gonna whisk this together. This is going to be a lemon honey glaze that I'm going to put on top of the carrots and asparagus when it comes out of the oven. And here are my sheet pans out of the oven. The ham looks amazing. The potatoes are creamy. And now I'm adding that lemon honey glaze on top of my roasted carrots and roasted asparagus. This meal was so simple to make. There's very little cleanup and it was delicious and fresh. I could not believe how delicious this meal was. And it did not take not even quite an hour. I mean, with prep time, it probably took an hour, but cook time was only about 40 minutes. This was amazing. The flavor was on point for this meal. It was so delicious. So if you want an easy Christmas dinner that's delicious, full of flavor with little cleanup, this is the meal for you. I want to thank you for coming to my channel and checking out my Christmas sheet pan meal. If you've not liked and subscribed yet, please do so and hit that notification bell. And from my home to yours, I want to say Merry Christmas.